Indeed, for the two brothers, it has been very much war as usual over the past seven days. There's no war, right? There's like clicks and views. Who's getting more clicks and views on the pictures and video? That's not a war. That's, you know, public life. What? After Harry overshadowed William's official act of remembrance for the late Queen Elizabeth by turning up unexpectedly at St. George's Chapel. I wasn't aware that William had any official act. I thought he was on vacation and, you know, wherever that place was where he couldn't be bothered to fly to the women's soccer game from. Um, and William then overshadowed Harry's Invictus launch by releasing a film of an unprecedented hour-long conversation. Boring! Hour-long conversation between, between himself, Kate, Aunt Anne, for a popular sports podcast fronted by his cousin Zara's husband, Mike Tyndall. I don't know who any of these people are besides Kate. And it looked like an episode of Masterpiece Theater from the 1980s complete with wardrobe from the 1980s stale boring who watched it if that that it was about soccer is news to me i would not have guessed but you know listen that's great if they're finding things to do they're trying to get their beaks wet in the media game we we're we're supportive but we're bored like do better maybe you need a william morris maybe you need some you know charisma and media training to just make it exciting like draw attention to it what were you talking about where are the clips I don't know but you know this article really really tries to put the Harry and Meghan event on equal footing with a boring podcast some poorly attended events in the forest etc no one cares when they show up and do their you know walk through it's only to say it would be best for William and Kate to learn from their brother and sister-in-law. That's all. Who's doing it better? Who's doing a more effective job of promoting these charities and directing attention to these sporting events and not being lazy or on vacation or hiding um, and not dressing for the occasion? All that staff and you can't get it right? All that staff and you're in the forest in a in a... A blazer? The two of you? Awful. All that staff and you can't go to a casual event in a casual outfit? Anyway. Zara's husband, Mike Tyndall, whoever that is. If anyone needed a reminder of the total collapse that is now the defining feature of the brother's relationship, it came when William, whom Harry called his arch nemesis in his memoir spare waxed lyrical in the podcast about some about disabled sport without mentioning the disabled Ooh, that's a poor choice of words without mentioning the invictus games launching that very day because he's hating he jealous that's all let's hear the clip of the podcast was it entertaining was it smart was it interesting i doubt it Speaking about the 2012 Paralympics, William called them, quote, a huge moment for disability sport taking off. And it's obviously gotten bitter. Sorry. And it's obviously got bigger and bigger since then. Got bigger or gotten bigger? Well, one hears about the Queen's English. <laughs> Is it lacking in this quote? But notably said not a word about Invictus. The Waleses themselves have been unusually highly visible this week i'll say on tuesday kate made a high profile visit to a men's jail what an interesting choice if her new butterfly fringe haircut i haven't seen it wasn't enough to guarantee acres of coverage the fact that her aides told reporters that her bandaged finger had been injured in a trampoline accident with her kids hmm at their Windsor home made it hard to shirk the feeling that the Waleses were unwilling to roll over and cede the limelight to Harry this week. There have been other flo theories floated about those finger bandages from our friends in the mm, ED community. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, Kate is the one who apparently insisted, quote, recollections may vary, unquote, um, 
was included in the late Queen's reaction to the Oprah interview. Well, I don't remember that phrase from Kate or the late Queen, but, you know, go off, sis. On Thursday, just before Harry and Meghan's big NATO photo call came out, William and Kate cooked food around a campfire. I didn't see that. Um, I saw them, like, building little, you know, structures out of twigs. That's all I saw. William and Kate cooked food around a campfire at a forest school focused on teaching kids about conservation. Oh, I thought it was a mental health group. Anyway, lovely pictures, and if you were a picture editor, which royal would you put on the front page? William and Kate toasting marshmallows with some cute kids, or Harry and Meghan with a stuffed shirt military general? That's not the images we saw. We saw one military dude in, like, military outfit, and then it was, like, a whole bunch of, like, families around them. But I think what draws you into one photo or another is whether or not the people in the photo look like they're having fun or they're having an emotion that you can connect with, right? And I think that's the, what Harry and Meghan can potentially teach William and Kate, not to be so stiff and, and wax figure-like in your photos and video. Like, look like you want to be there, you know? Like, I think that Harry and Meghan can help William and Kate raise the game. They might do it kicking and screaming. They might be uncomfortable because all these words like official and royal don't mean anything, right? When people are hunting for content online, they're going to go toward the better content. So just make better content. It's a struggle for all of us.